All right, now that we've got our handles, our throttle mixture prop, those uh, handles working, let's uh, let's jump into the uh, G1000 and uh, make its buttons working. So let's uh, start out by giving ourselves a plane. Scale that down. Doesn't hurt to make it just a little bigger than the actual switch, just so that it's a little bit easier to grab a hold of. select this layer real quick so we make sure we get it we want it to still be in front so we don't want it like this um, because you won't be able to click on it where the switch is that's poking through you need it in front of that switch so we'll put it about right there jump back to just this layer uh, let's first assign that material so our manipulator material which is all set up. That's all we have to do is just make sure it's assigned. We've got it and it's switched to that gold color. And uh, let's see. Give it a name real quick. And then manipulator. Now it's not a drag. This is going to be a command. And uh, then we'll give it its command here. So let's search for, uh, let's see, G1000. And uh, since this is our PFD, we're going to go N1. And autopilot and uh, AP right there. Okay. It's going to show a hand and we've got our command in there. Now that should be set up and ready to go. So let's uh, duplicate that and let's see we can go we'll go down. So right there, I'm going to shift R to repeat that duplication a couple times. And then let's just go back through and remember to keep your names all correct. So there, and then your command. So I've got on my other screen this uh, siminnovations.com command search and so I'm referencing that for these so I don't have to keep searching on the G1000 it's actually fairly simple most of these switches um, the command just has the same lettering that the switch has in it so for heading HDG jump to our nav
Alright, so just like that, those six uh, switches should be working. Shift D, this time on the X, scoot them over. so you don't have to watch that, but I'll get all these command commands right real quick. Okay, and then let's do our uh, keys down here across the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate, bring this down there, and uh, let's see, find my soft keys. So we'll change that to G1000 soft key. Now I'm using my background image for this, um, just because I know that my background image hasn't moved and still lines up with the actual part, but you do want to make sure that um, your actual 3D model does line up with where you're putting your manipulators. Alright, so now, soft key 2, 3, Four, five, whoops, uh, yes, thousand, one, what was I? Six. Just like that, we've got uh, a bunch of switches that should be working in the sim. And uh, you know, let me get the sim coming up, and we'll throw on a couple more real quick.
export on that. This should be ready to do that. There we go. Let's just pull up this other panel real quick so we can make sure. Yeah, so everything's just hovering right over. Save. Sounds like the sim just loaded in. So let me hit export real quick. Oh, that'll export both because we have both up, but that's okay. All right, so we jump into the sim here. I got to reload because I just exported. All right, let's see. Okay, so I don't think you can see it, but I am getting my hand cursor over these buttons. And uh, let's see if I can, there we go. clickable so far and uh, we'll continue on with uh, doing our knobs and then uh, transferring everything over to the second uh, G1000.